So Slow Ironbridge is a project which reflects the way in which heritage sites are experienced and represented by those who visit them. Um, my research is on tourism, so that's sort of what I've been attempting to explore through this. Um, so it grew out of a desire to artistically engage with how the tourists I study represent their experiences to um, their social media networks and how that portrayal affects the reality of their lived experience. Um, further, I was then able to explore um, through this a little of how the people in their networks um, experience the site through the tourist representations. So my site is Ironbridge, which is in Shropshire, um, and it's um, a World Heritage Site. So the project, as you may have seen, um, revolves around a hashtag. And does everybody know what a hashtag is? This only occurred to me this morning. Cool, that's fine. Um, and, um, and a slow film, which is uh, formed of a, a slideshow of several thousand images, which um, take the viewer through a walk pretty much in real time um, through Ironbridge Gorge. The images are unframed in the sense that I didn't look at the camera while I took them. So in contrast to um, the very beautiful images we saw from Crete, um, these were an attempt to use the camera as a recording device, um, as a way of creating a, a metaphor for the lived experience. Obviously, it doesn't incorporate sound and the 360 experience. It would be maybe really cool to do it in VR, but for now, it's just a sort of a representation of that. Um, the Twitter hashtag uh, then collects together a live tweeted account of the walk, um, which includes um, framed images, ones that I've specifically taken um, with an aesthetic view and uh, lots of commentary. Um, now, the current form of the project uh, now has been able to incorporate people's responses uh, to the images from a previous installation of it at chat in October, um, and uh, as well as organic interactions that have happened naturally because I used the hashtag Ironbridge um, and uh, therefore uh, the Telford Live account um, interacted with it and I had some really nice um, conversations through that with people in the Telford area. In order to make the work as accessible as possible I've also created a photo album um, because not everybody is on Twitter and um, I wanted to allow people who and came to tag to be able to uh, look at the story presented on Twitter in a form that's a sort of analogue equivalent. So I've used um, Polaroid images as a kind of reflection of that, of the, the narrative form through photography. Um, so either as a piece of art or as a social media experiment, um, Slow Ironbridge um, is constantly evolving um, because it changes as people are able to interact with the hashtag. So um, the idea behind this was to create a simile of the ways in which stories on social media grow and change as people interact with them. So um, I, you will all know the term to go viral, which is referring to images and ideas which get spread globally on social media often very quickly. I'm really fascinated by the etymology of the term, you know, the idea of a virus which changes and evolves as it goes into new organisms. Um, it's not the same in every form. It, it's constantly changing and meaning different things as it travels. Um, so when people um, communicate their travel experiences online, what do those experiences mean to the people who can see them? And what does that mean for the communication of heritage values and uh, archaeological stories, um, which are bound up in the places that people may be visiting? Um, so through project, we had some really lovely responses. And um, for me, um, they represented three distinct themes, um, though they, of course, interlap. Um, people interacted with places represented in Slow Iron Bridge through their own real life current location. Um, they also engaged with it through their memories of places and um, also in an imaginative form with places that perhaps don't exist or don't have any direct relationship. So at chat, one of the things I did to encourage interaction with the project uh, was to distribute still images which I selected at random from the, um, the huge body from the slideshow um, and I asked people to respond to. So people either tweeted responses or uh, wrote on the back of the pictures if they didn't have Twitter and um, gave them back to me. So uh, some of the most exciting responses that I had were people who decided to take elements of my walk on journeys themselves. 
these involved um, an often playful interaction uh, with the images. Um, so there was a really lovely idea that from the bridge image, um, you could be anywhere. And so the image in the top um, has my image of the bridge photographed, overlaid on an, a road in Orkney, and then another version of that image on a phone. So it's a little Inception-like. <laughs> um, but there's kind of road going on into the uh, forever, potentially. Um, because with my bridge being a road as well as a, a bridge location. What um, these images had in common were that all of um, them looked at my place, Ironbridge, in the light of the physical places where the person interacting with the image was physically located. Um, and I wondered, is this something that we do sometimes when we see our friends and family's images online? Uh, it may just be that we make a direct comparison with our dreary office to Auntie Hilda's Caribbean cruise, um, but maybe there's something slightly more profound there. And that is, of course, an imaginative leap in its own right. Other people um, told me stories of memories that the pictures that I had shared had evoked. The railings on the bridge took one tweeter back to running a stick along school railings as a child. Another, Lara is here today actually, um, responded to my image of fencing with a story of building fences as a volunteer. Perhaps the hardest to pin down theme is this idea of imaginative engagement with place. Um, this is the ability to see one thing in a picture and allow it to conjure up a mental image of something else entirely. This was probably the most, most intriguing one where somebody handed this back to me saying the Washington Monument uh, with my Seven Gorge Countryside Trust roof marker, which is quite fun. Um, and if, with the eye of a lot of imagination, you can maybe, maybe see that shape in it. Um, another example uh, was um, the bridge being perceived uh, with um, the idea of onion domes in Russia raises all sorts of questions about Abraham Darby and uh, Farnell's Pritchard's design, which is, I have no idea I'm going to have to look into. So what does all of this mean? Um, it certainly challenged me to think not just about how tourists represent their journeys, which was where I originally started contrasting lived experience with the live tweeted um, representation, um, but also how the people who see these images or hear, the, hear these stories engage with them um, online. And when we're talking about heritage and in my case, it's a World Heritage Site with all these ideas of the shared inheritance of humanity, whatever critically you may think of all those ideas, um, is a really fascinating thing to try and dig into and explore. Um, we live in, in networked worlds. Our online lives are completely integrated with our offline lives. There's no virtual and real reality anymore, um, particularly if we're using social media constantly. Um, and um, what does this mean, therefore, for... Uh, how our travel experiences um, are experienced by our friends and family in their everyday lives. Okay.